Hi, welcome back to Genesis Engineering Academy, which I post for better tomorrow. In this video, I am going to discuss two topics. One is uh, cycloid, the other one is uh, helix or curve for, uh, that is uh, used in threads of a, a bolt to uh, nut. So first, I uh, will uh, deal with the, uh, that is uh, cycloid. So how to draw a cycloid? If the diameter of the generating cycle is given. So I draw circle and divide that circle into 12 equal parts and mark as 1, 2, 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, etc. So this we have divided this into 12 parts. Now draw a line pp dash equal to perimeter of the this circle and the same thing has to be divided into 12 equal parts and I will mark them as 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash. So forget, don't forget that is pp dash is the perimeter. So our starting point, zero point is p, understand, right. We'll divide that using any method you have to divide this line but I have not uh, followed this bisector method now what you have to draw vertical lines from 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash and so on and so forth Draw horizontal lines from 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash. Here, this uh, looks uh, very cumbersome. So, you have to draw each by each uh, from, that is, you have to draw the ox so that it cuts the line and that will become the point to draw the smooth curve of cycloid. So, intersecting of vertical lines and the center lines gives us C1, C2, C3, C4. See, that is. So, here the important line is CB, that is the center line. And the vertical line from 1 will give us C1 and from 2 will give us C2 and so forth. So, with the center C1, C2, C2, C3, C4 like that, you have to draw, draw different arcs which will cut the vertical lines. Okay, so 1 dash, 2 dash. So, if you observe clearly, and this arc from the center, okay, so this is the center to draw this arc. And it will cut the, this is, where do you get this one? So this is one dash. Here this is. From this to, where you, this is two, this is two and this is the point. Like that, this is three and the line is three dash. Okay. And for four, this is the point. Like that, you have to follow and you have to change the center. For the first instant, you have to take the C1 as the center. Okay, so you have to start from 1. C2 from 2. That means, that is the radius. C2, 2. C1, 1. Okay, and care must be taken to locate. So, don't draw arcs at the same time. You have to draw one by one. Then you, you don't uh, get uh, confused. So one more thing you have to draw from four and up to the line four dash. Five 
up to the line 5 dash 6 up to the line 6 dash okay 7 up to the line 7 dash from 7 it is 7 dash like that uh, where is this 7 like that you have to maintain so you will get confused be please be cautious okay now uh, start so this is the traverse of this circle from point p to p dash so with the same center that gives us the cycloid So this is, these are the points that is P1, P2, P3 through which we have to draw a smooth curve that is the cycloid. Okay, I hope you understood. Now I Now I will take up the helix or helical curve. Helix is the curve. So you can use interchangeably. So draw helix of one revolution. If the pitch is 2.5 mm and the diameter of the cylinder is 10 mm. So this is the subject about thread. That is thread form on a cylinder. That becomes, we sometimes we call it as a bolt. So for that you have to draw a circle and you divide that circle into 12 equal parts. And I will mark them as 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash and so on and so forth. Over. So what is this rectangle? This shows the height of the or the length of the bolt that is a cylinder. So cylinder top view is this one and this is the front view. Next one is a draw line PQ equal to perimeter and divide that into 12 equal words because we have divided the circle into 12 equal words. So that uh, thing has to be kept in mind while dividing. So this is the horizontal line PQ that is equal to what is that perimeter and you have to draw one vertical line that is equal to pitch. But I have taken that is I have not taken any scale. Okay I have divided this line PQ into 12 equal words. Okay, now I also has to divide this vertical pitch. So here I have taken here. So this you can also divide this line also. You understand my point? So this is the pitch. So that is the same thing I have taken. So okay, so that I have divided here. And if you want, you can divide this, or otherwise you can name this as. P R. So this P R stands for pitch and you can draw or otherwise divide into these 12 equal parts. Got my point? Right. Draw vertical lines from 1, 2, 3, 4 like that to 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash like that. So that P is taken on the cylinder. So these vertical lines are fin uh, that is been drawn. Now horizontal lines to 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash, 6 dash and so on till 12 dash is reached. Now it is our duty to find out the points for a smooth curve that is the helix over the a cylinder intersection of 1 and 1 dash. You got my point? So this is
So one and one dash one from the circle and one dash from the cylinder that is drawn left side. So these are the points I have marked. Only this half part is marked. That is pi d perimeter. That is length of perimeter, and this now is pitch. Okay. So these points are obtained by extending this P one and P two. P3 horizontally. So this is the development of this helix. You understand? This triangle. If you want the cylinder, you will get that thread profile called helix. You understand? So this is the development of this uh, helical curve. So if he is asked to draw only curve, this part is enough. You understand? So this part is enough. If he is asked, okay. If you are asked to draw the development, then you have to draw this one. Otherwise, no need this one. This P one is obtained by intersecting this vertical line and this horizontal line. So what we have to do? You have to divide this circle into twelve parts, and this pitch, this P two. Twelve dash is pitch, so that I have uh, shown here. Okay, so that is, so that's all. Now you have to draw a curve. This uh, I have shown continuous line because it appears on the upper side, and this as hidden line that is a dashed line because it is under this, under this curve. Got my point. So this is cylinder. So if thread is wound on a cylinder at an angle called helix angle. So what is that helix angle? So this is theta, and it looks like a right a right angled triangle. So if you found tan theta is equal to pitch by that is called pi d perimeter. Okay. So tan inverse pitch by perimeter gives us This helix angle. Okay, so this gives uh, that is uh, information for mechanical engineers how thread is being made. Okay, so that's all. Subscribe if not subscribe, and also press the bell button to receive all notifications.